Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be all about my Medusa piercing. Hopefully it doesn't have makeup on it. But I'm gonna be going over a bunch of different things, I guess, as far as how it felt, what the pain was like, my experience overall, and where I got it done, and like how much money it's gonna be, and how I took care of it, and all that jazz. So I guess let's just dive in. Kitty! Kitty! Oh. Put it down. So I'm certified to do powder ombre brows and I have my practice supplies right here and my cat just took the ink ring and ran off and that scared me. Um, basically I've had this piercing for three-ish months now, almost four. It's kitty, kitty, kitty. Kind of, it's healed for sure. It did take about two or three weeks for it to kind of fully heal. It wasn't so bad of a healing process, but first and foremost, when I got it done, I went to my one of my local tattoo shops that I have gone, I got tattooed at, and they have really good piercers there, so uh, I went and saw this dude. It was at uh, True at Heart Tattoo in Lake Forest, so... Um, Dude was really friendly, dude really knew what he was doing and uh, really made the experience a lot more comfortable for me because I was really nervous and it was kind of a spontaneous decision but basically long story short, I had a job previously where it didn't really allow me to have piercings because it was in the food industry and I know right now during COVID whatever like I'd wear a mask anyway but I didn't want to risk it but basically I got a new job and it is okay with piercings so I was I took my chance as soon as I found that out and I just went and got it done I want to say that I paid $75 if not like around that it was worth it it was definitely worth it considering the piercer knew what he was doing meaning he was really sanitary and he was very informative and explained to me the whole process of what was going on what to expect things like that and I kind of mentioned to him that I felt nervous about it I was so scared that it was gonna hurt but he was like you know what it kind of depends on the piercer you have and I think some of you guys out there can kind of relate to that if you've ever had a bad piercer the whole experience is different if it hurt a lot more than it should have or you know they just sounded like they didn't know what they were doing or if they were new I don't know but this guy was awesome he told me everything step by step and he told me that it's nothing to worry about and that it has everything to do with your piercer and if they know what they're doing or not. The pain level was like little to none, I would say. My septum hurt way worse. And I think at this point in time, I'm thinking that it might have been pierced wrong because most people say it doesn't hurt. And if it does hurt, it's most likely pierced the wrong way, but I don't know. Still have it and it's, it's still fine. I could compare the pain level to like, it has to be either 14 or 12 gauge that it's pierced at. So the needle looked pretty big. So I was I was nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he had the little clamp going and did the whole thing. And I was like, I had my eyes closed, I was nervous. And I was like, okay, just relax and just breathe. And it went through like nothing. I was like, wait, it's done? And he's like, yeah, that was it. So it was so, it, I feel like it hurt less than a, an ear piercing would. Like that's how little it hurt and I was so, excited about that. I think what hurt the most for me was the transferring of the jewelry. That felt like a bitch, but the rest was just great. And um, it's definitely a bigger bar because <laughs> I haven't gotten it switched out since getting it pierced. Um, so I think the downfall of that is this. Kind of feels like it gets stuck in my teeth. Kind of just shows through when I smile, which I like because it kind of looks like uh, the smiley piercing, I like those. So from afar, it's like, oh, look at my smiley piercing. So it's, it's cool. The only downfall is that you can't really see the gem first and foremost, unless I push it down. Um, as far as aftercare, um, I was kind of bad and I didn't quite remember like everything that he told me. Um, but I want to say he mentioned something like saline solution or just kind of something gentle. He recommended something for me to buy and I don't think I did. 
but overall like even not having a clear idea of what to do for the healing process which is completely my fault and nothing to do with my piercer I healed it pretty well. I mean, it was a little bit swollen for a couple days and I think I might have picture references that I can put in here, but it was kind of swollen for maybe like four days. But during those four days, I was doing a lot of talking. I was going back to work, smiling, laughing, and that was just kind of irritating the piercing. So that's on me. Like I, I am just like a laughy kind of person as it is. So uh, that's entirely my fault. Uh, but it's fine. So, because it clearly turned out fine. I haven't really had any issues of it, um, getting, like, infected or things like that. My piercer told me to kind of expect it to get swollen if I accidentally get it caught on something, which I get it caught on my teeth all the time, but that doesn't make it swollen. But I really haven't had that much issues with it. I really like it. I really love it. And I think for those of you out there who can get the piercing, like if your job allows it and things like that, like totally do it. I'd go for it if you've been wanting it, but only if you've been wanting it. If you kind of have to ask, do I want this? Maybe you don't. I just say like go off of what you're feeling and what you're down for. Just make sure your piercer is really good and hopefully your experience would be like mine because my piercer was like the best ever. He was so nice, so personable and made the whole situation really, really easy. So that's pretty much it. Highly recommend if you like it. Uh, and if you have any more questions, I guess, or if I missed anything, feel free to tell me in the comments and like I'll answer your questions and stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys are hanging in there during the pandemic and things like that. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, I just stretched my ears to 916. Woo! last video I think I posted so and I hope you guys have a badass rest of your day and that you guys just stay positive and I mean that in the most not cliche way and I know sometimes being positive is hard and you can't just snap yourself out of things but just know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel no matter what and that you guys are strong and you guys are a badass and you're getting through shit and you're doing good enough and I love ya and I hope I see you guys next time on my channel bye